Hello! How the fuck you doing? Hey guys, Dfield here, bringing you another episode of Factions Let's Play. Alright guys, as I previously promised in my last video, today is going to be a PvP episode. But, um, I actually wanted to, uh, take the time at the very beginning and, uh, you know, do a little tutorial on how to brew potions. So this'll, I'm gonna actually time-lapse, because you guys seem to have liked the idea of time-lapsing videos. So, um, I'm gonna show you guys how to make it, and, uh, basically I'm just gonna time-lapse ahead of the actual brewing process, because it does take a while. So, uh, yeah, we're gonna start out with, I made glass bottles, and all you gotta do is take, um, a glass block, and basically put it into, like, a V-shape like this, and it'll make a glass bottle. So that's what you do to get glass bottles. I made that previously, so you guys wanna have to watch that in the video but what we're gonna need is a we're gonna need a bunch of glass bottles so we're gonna start out with strength potions guys so we need glass bottles we're gonna need nether wart uh we're gonna need um let's see we're gonna need blaze powder and then we're also gonna need glowstone dust so blaze powder is very easy to get you're either gonna buy it from the shop or if you do have a blaze grinder you can uh easily purchase it or get it from that farm it doesn't take too long to collect and uh it's very easy so we're gonna start out with a uh, strength uh po strength potion two and uh how we're gonna make that is you're basically i'm gonna fill up my water bottles over here and all right so what you're gonna do is you guys are gonna need a i have a bunch of brewing stands so i could brew it, a bunch of them at the same time and you're gonna put the water bottles all in the three spots below and then the first item you need is the nether wart so you're gonna re repeat that uh with uh, however many brewing stands you have in your f home or wherever your brewing station is all right and while this is happening um i'm probably going i'm gonna Time lapse uh, through this portion so you guys don't have to wait for the actual nether wart to cook up. So, uh, yep, give me one second, guys. It's just going to time lapse real quickly. All right, so uh, that's that's it for that. So after you put in the nether wart, your second ingredient, so you, you'll get an awkward potion from adding a nether wart in. Uh, your second ingredient that you're going to want to put in is the blaze powder. And the blaze powder is basically what makes it into the strength potion. So I'm also going to time lapse through this portion. I hope you guys are learning something new uh, in making strength potions. And uh, I will see you guys in a little, in, in a little bit. Alright guys, now that is done, and we finally have our strength potion, which is just one, strength one, and it's a three minute. So uh, what I want to do, since I'm going to be PvPing in this episode against a lot of people, I want to make strength potion two, which basically makes you hit like a plus 100, I think it's like, or plus 260% attack damage. So to make a strength potion two... You're gonna make, you're gonna use a glowstone dust the same exact way that you've been doing for the other two ingredients, and then just basically add it to a normal strength three potion, and you'll make a strength two potion. So this is gonna be time lapse once again, guys. I hope you guys are learning something, and uh, talk to you guys in uh, just a little bit. Alright guys, so that that is a strength potion. That's basically all you have to do to make strength potions, guys. So I'm going to be using these for PvPing. I'm going to make a little bit, a couple of extra, so Insanity will have some as well. He's not online right now, but he'll join me for the PvP portion of this episode. So that's how you make strength potions, guys. It's very easy. It's a very simple way. You know, just take a couple of minutes and make some potions and you'll be able to dominate the pvp arena all right so what i'm also going to be making so i have the strength two and then the second thing that i want to make is the speed two which basically makes you move a lot faster it's the same exact ingredients but instead of the blaze powder you guys are going to be using sugarcane which are sugar which you can get from just crushing down sugarcane in um a crafting bench so yep so let's fill up a couple more water bottles as we did previously Do, 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 do. All right, and so what you guys are going to do again is we're going to start out with the nether wart, and uh, this is going to be fast forwarded once again, and we will see you guys in a second. All right, guys, now that we have the awkward potion again, instead of adding the blaze powder, all we're going to do is add the sugar. And this basically gives us our speed potion. As you guys can see, brewing is very easy. All you guys got to do is take about five minutes. It's not even. It doesn't even take that long, actually. Just take a couple of minutes and make some potions before you go PvPing. 
And, you know, you just get that upper hand on your opponents. You, you have the chance, if you have a strong enough sword, you can literally, like, two or three hit, you know, people in weak armor. And, like, protection one diamond. Like, you'll be able to, like, three or four hit them, especially if you have strength two on. So, you guys will probably see that in the, um, in the l later portion of this video as I am PvPing with these potions. And you'll notice that it's very, very easy to, uh... To, to use these potions to your advantage and to get the upper hand on these uh, PvP battles. So once you guys have the speed 3 potion, all you're going to do is the same thing as before to get the speed 2, where you get like plus 80% speed, I think. All you're going to do is add a glowstone dust, and that is that. All that is that. You're going to get your speed 2 potions from this brewing stand, and then that's it. So uh, yeah, this is going to be time-lapse really quickly, and I'm going to time-lapse me actually, uh, I'm going to fast-forward through me actually gearing up for PvP, and then once we're ready to go PvPing, um, we're just going to message everybody on the on the chat right there that you guys can see right now, and yeah, we'll do a couple minutes of PvPing, and uh, yeah, so... Um, I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do for my next episode guys, so uh, leave a like uh, leave a comment What would you guys like to see do you guys want to see a raid the next episode? Do you want us to see a, do you want me to do a tutorial of some type on the next episode another? Brewing tutorial I'll, like show you guys other different potions to make that could be useful in PvPing. I don't know let, let me know what you guys want to see in the comments down below and yeah uh, we will, I'm just gonna be, I'm gonna be preparing for a PvP battle, and, uh, I will talk to you guys in a little bit. Alright guys, so I am ready for battle. I have my potions all set up perfectly in a row here, so if we do get into a long fight with a donator or some sort, I'll be ready. I'll be ready to take them on. So, um, I'm not going to bring a god axe. It'll be inside my uh, ender chest if I do need it. I have my bows and my god apples ready. And I have slash. I have access to slash e-chest in case I do need to get grab more apples. So yeah, let's get this PvP episode started. I hope you guys learned a little something from that brewing tutorial I did at the very beginning of the episode. And yeah, let's go. Uh, recording. Go. Do you want warp main PvP or warp wild? PvP. Go warp main PvP to fight. Can you just get jump out? Warp main PvP. Alright guys, let's go. This so there's people there's a couple people here so far. I'm gonna talk I'm gonna toggle downfall so it doesn't lag the people here. Are you down are you where are you, Matthew? I should have brought a strength eight potion. So yeah, basically um a strength potion is pretty easy to make guys. So I, I am potioned up right now, so these people are gonna start chasing me. Matthew, where are you? There you are. There's Matthew. Take that stuff. Oh, despawned. Alright, let's go. Let's warp. Let's tell everybody to get over here. So I gotta keep an eye on my strength potions and everything, and then I have to keep these ready in case we do get jumped. Alright, there's a lot of people here, but they, they're not ready yet. They're not jumping in yet. Yeah, I drank them already. Uh, Rapid 103 is going to be our first victim. Oh, and so is Dylan. Oh, Dylan is a faction ally. I want some heads. I want people to drop heads so we can collect them. Oh, there's no heads, though. I'm kind of waiting. Why is this guy wearing no armor? Michael, Matthew, who's, who's America? No, oh, that's them. PvP Joker, go 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 go. Is he a donator? He's a donator. I'm not. I don't think he's a better. Oh god, I got a god apple. Wasn't watching my HP. Watch your HPs, Matthew, because they're all just gonna drop down. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna go slash e chest and grab an axe because he's gonna be. He's gonna be a long fight. He's gonna be a long fight. Disarm him, though. All right. I'll break down his armor. I'll break down his armor. You try to disarm him. I think he might have iron grip, Matthew. Yeah, he has iron grip, so just pull, I'm pulling out my axe. Oh, axe. Is he dead donated? I don't think so, so we'll, he'll eventually... I just want some heads, alright? <laughs> if we can get some heads for our head collection, I'll be happy. Go, go, go. Oh, God, Apple! They're all focusing on me because they know I'm recording, so it'll be fine. Is Cool Connor 2 a diamond donator? Oh, yeah. Just focus on... He's, he's bedrock? Yeah. 
So he has slash access to fix all. So don't don't focus on him. Get PvP Joker. Well, I'm kind of lost. I kind of I kind of want to find a I want to find a texture pack that removes this well, like flame stuff. Oops, that's that was stupid. I want to yeah I want to find basically a texture pack that takes off this flame like that like technically you'll still be on fire but on the screen it doesn't show it so if you guys if you guys have a texture pack that removes that that flame effect on the bottom let me know guys let me know let me know because that'll that'll be very useful especially for these long pvp fights it'll be it'll be interesting wait cool cool connor 2 is bedrock are you sure and then drink more strength potions all right. What about what about um? Oh, sloth food just got raped, raped right there. Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! No, I gotta eat. All right, let's eat. Let me drop this stuff because it's not important. So yeah, we need to we need to fix those cooldowns on a bunch of the stuff here, Mr. Jelly. I want your head, Mr. Jelly. I want people to drop their heads. Why are people not dropping their heads? Yeah, I'm killing the people in iron and stuff. I keep I keep hitting them with my freaking bow. Manu Ferrano, he's a trial mod. Do 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 slash fix all. Yeah, so the the the, the cooldowns for the actual armors for the higher donations haven't been fixed yet. So that's something that we're gonna actually be fixing very soon. Uh, Kobe just hasn't had time to do it recently so yeah Matthew what donation rank is uh, XX PvP do you know diamond. he's diamond all right so he doesn't have slash he doesn't have access to fix all but he probably has a bunch of sets on him I'm just hitting anyone. yeah so am I it's kind of just a it's kind of just a big fight right here <laughs> mm -hmm. DJ slam gaming is here as well Use your pots. hold on I gotta we don't 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 focus on cool Connor because he's just gonna keep repairing his armor. I'm just saying Mm-hmm. X, X I'm I'm trying to I'm trying to break down his armor. Boom. 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 Oh, I should do he's that. got appling. I'm gonna help you do it. What? Breaking down his armor? Yeah. F five so you don't see the flames. You can do that? Yeah. Oh. Oh, look at this. I am playing in uh third person mode. This is third oh god, I got I got apple. Eating. I'm playing in third person mode right now. It's actually that's actually a little better. It stops uh, the fire. You can stop seeing the fire. So if you guys are, this is a good tactic, guys. If you're gonna fight in a big group battle like this, this guy is just wearing nothing. If you guys are gonna fight in a big group battle like this, try try fighting it in F5 mode, and then it looks a little easier. Not too bad. I wonder how many. I wonder how many sets he has on him. God apple. I'm like I'm like leveling up my acrobatic skill from being knocked back. <laughs> That's so cool. I'm at like 700 acrobatics now. It's so nice. I know. I want to get this XX PvP. Jar. I don't know how many sets he has. That's a thing. Cause I know he plays a lot, so he probably has a bunch of prot four sets like in his ender chest already. Oh, we killed. You got one. I don't know, but somebody just died right there. Polar eclipse. Oh, there was another one that went down. I lost a bunch of kill the people kill the people with uh nothing on kill the people with nothing on because they just picked up all the stuff. Tids, tids, tids. Mr. Jelly one. I'm gonna drop these bottles because I don't need them and then set these potions up again. Where'd they go, Matthew? Where'd they go? Oh god, I gotta fix my armor. Go go go! I got you. Got you! I got you! Oh, oh his armor's breaking! His armor's breaking! Oh, oh there we go! Woo! There's a prop four set, guys. Oh. More for our collection. Kill the people with nothing on. They're stealing our stuffs. Yeah, yeah, let's go, let's go, let's go. <laughs> let's go, let's go. Run, Matthew, run. He had, like, he was just healing or something? All right, come on, come on, we gotta get out of here. We're gonna run out. We're gonna, let's bank all this stuff that we have so far. So yeah, the cooldowns for the slash fix all have to be fixed for the obsidian or for the obsidian and the rank up donators. Oh, we made it! Yes. All right. So there's 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 one uh there's one 
There's one successful PvP episode, guys. There we go. All right, it was a very short episode, guys, but I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Um, I might actually do a little bit more. No, I'm going to keep this set on me. I'm going to do a little bit more in the future. Uh, it was just a short PvP episode, guys. I really don't have time to record too long of an episode today. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed today's uh, Factions Let's Play. Uh, if you guys did learn something from these brewing, uh, for the little brewing tutorial earlier and you'd like more of that, make sure you guys are ready. Um, so, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Smash that like button if you haven't already. And uh, thank you to all my lovely subscribers who have subscribed so far. Our wall of heads is slowly growing. If you guys would like to donate, well not really donate, if you guys would like to add your head onto this wall, come challenge me in Insanity and PvP, and uh, maybe you guys will end up on the wall of shame. So yeah, uh, thank you guys for watching today's episode, and uh, this is Dfield and Insanity, and we will see you guys later.